Avi Myers, Northtown Neighborhood News Magazine, a presentation of Sonny Hirsch and myself. Community Policing Caps 24.org, Jewish Chicago, will be coming out uh, for your early voting pleasure. We're expanding the circulation greatly, especially in the north and northwest suburbs. We would very much like to thank Tom Menard, who's in, uh, involved with our next guest, for helping her get around the show. It's always a pleasure to deal with him. And I would like to introduce you to a judge who is running for election to the Circuit Court of Cook County, and that is Judge Allison Hanlon. How are you? I'm Conlon. fine, Allison Conlon, yes. Conlon. Oh, that's okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> okay, so why don't you tell, tell us about your basic background? Sure. Um, so I'm a sitting judge on the Circuit Court of Cook County. I was appointed by the Illinois Supreme Court earlier this year in February. Um, prior to that, I was a partner in two different law firms in Chicago. I had a mainly civil practice representing people and their businesses, large, medium, small, lots of municipalities, villages, towns, cities, in all different kinds of civil litigation. I also worked for the city of Chicago doing constitutional law and clerked for a federal judge, and that's kind of my legal background. Personally, um, I'm a third generation resident of Cook County. My grandparents lived on the south side. My parents raised us up in Glencoe. I'm a proud graduate of New Trier Township, and for some reason, whenever I've come north, I seem to wear my New Trier colors with me, so I did that today. Um, and now I live off of Taylor Street um, on the near west side with my daughter in the little neighborhood tucked between the university and the hospitals. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, we're from on the south side originally, from your... Grand Crossing, like 79th and Stony Island. Um, I grew up in South Shore. Okay, we're neighbors, <laughs> neighbors right. back in the day. Okay, just curious. I always have to ask those questions. Yeah. People really care about that more than you would uh, think. It's a big point of connection as I get around the county. And, you know, I've had mm -hmm. relatives live in different parts of the county, and it really makes it easier to kind of get to know people in different parts of it. Yeah, it does. So what's so you kind of, you're, you're basically were concentrated on uh, civil cases. That's correct, yes. A any particular areas in there? or? A lot of commercial litigation, business litigation, some government, public law type litigation, and you know, really just general, a, a wide variety of civil, tort, and commercial litigation. And uh, where, are you, where are you presently serving in court? Presently, I am in the first municipal division in a jury courtroom. Um, the cases are civil cases valued under $30,000 which some people like to call small claims, but let me tell you, you know, when people walk up to the bench, there's no such thing as a small case to them. Everything is a big deal, and it's certainly something that I take seriously. Um, I've got, you know, a handful of lawyers. I also have a lot of pro se litigants, so it's kind of an active and varied docket that I have. And anybody who thinks $30,000 is a small amount of money, there's a hollow tree stump out back, if you could just lift the latch, <laughs> and drop it down there, it would be greatly appreciated. Agreed, agreed. <laughs> so, um, which, which courthouse are you working out of? I'm in the Daily Center. Oh, very nice. Yes, yeah, it's a great assignment. I actually, I actually was um, on jury duty earlier in the year. This was not a small claim, this was an eight-figure lawsuit. Oh. And I am very grateful I was not picked. I had actually written an article on the subject. Oh. And, um, I, I told the judge, it's like, you know, I, I, you know, written about this, you should probably know what I wrote, you know, out of fairness. He calls me in his chamber, and the first thing I said was the Illinois Trial Lawyers Association, and he said, you're dismissed. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even have to finish the sentence, huh? <laughs> nope, not at all. Okay. Not at all. So, um, what, so, okay, you were appointed. What's involved in the process of running for judge? Well, um, it involves a lot of getting around the county, getting to know various folks. I'm running in the Democratic Party uh, primary, and so what I did up until the summer and, and beyond was meet uh, all the different Democratic committeemen. I was fortunate enough to be slated by the county Democratic Party last August. Congratulations. Um, thank you, thank you. That's helpful, I hope, in a countywide type of situation. and. Um, you know, just going out and trying to meet as many voters as possible and kind of bringing my, my message to them. So it's busy and it's not a small county, as you know, but it, it's a great challenge to have. No, now you are, now just for people who don't know, you can't exactly campaign like a regular politician. You can't get on a soapbox and promise people 40 acres and a mule. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Um, I have to be very careful and vigilant. Um, 
not to be talking about my personal opinions about um, important public issues, which does sometimes put us in a bind because I do have opinions and I want to have a meaningful dialogue with people, but if it's the type of issue that can come before me as a judge, um, we don't want our judges out there spouting about personal opinions and such. We want people to be fair, impartial, removed in a sense. And yeah. so, and it's been interesting because I have had some voters say, well, what do you think about this? Don't you, the red light cameras. No, no nobody's a big fan of these red light cameras. They right. want to know kind of personal opinions about that. And it's led to some interesting conversations about the restrictions on judges and why it's important to, to have them. Did you start in traffic court? I did. <laughs> and I, I have to say, I'm a much better driver as a result. Yeah, it really <laughs> gave me a newfound appreciation for driving. So that, I've that never was heard that one before. That's it's, good. It is absolutely <laughs> true. So. Very good. So um, oh, how do you find the events? Um, I really have enjoyed getting around the county. I really do. And oh, I, I mean, how do you find them? Oh, how, mm -hmm. oh, how do I find them? Oh, literally. Um, yeah. You know, there are, the, Tom, my campaign manager, Tom is Menard. terrific at mm. directing me to the right places. Um, there are certain people who are really good about introducing judges and sort of touting judges because we are so far down ballot. You know, I'm not a household name. And so there are some event leaders who've been particularly committed to introducing judges around, which is very helpful. Yeah, one of the things I like, I like to tell people to do is um, not enough people vote in the first place. Then it, a minimum of 20% of the people that vote are never getting to that judicial part of the ballot. Yes. So, and the fact is that a judge can influence your life much more than your state senator, state representative, U.S. congressman. I mean, you're talking about freedom, um, house, you know, like a wife, all yeah. kinds of, you know, all sorts of things. I always urge people to start from the bottom of the ballot and go from there. Oh. And, and by the way, Jewish Chicago, of course, will have a full primer on every single judicial race in the area we cover. And we'll let you know what the bar ratings are and all the different candidates and give you we're going to try to expand our, we try to expand our reviews each time to give you as thorough as possible a look as you can possibly have from an objective standpoint. And before everybody blames me, I do have a judicial panel of people who are highly rated judges and legal minds who help guide me. Very good. Mm -hmm. I will say, on the, in terms of the importance of judges and us really being on the front lines of elected officials who people will see in their lives, when I was circulating petitions to get my name on the ballot, I was about 200 signatures into it very early in the process, and I had already run into two litigants who had been before me. I wow. mean, it was amazing. So 1%, right? And fortunately, they both agreed to sign. <laughs> they had good experiences really? with I mean, it was great. But point being, when I'm out there in the world, just in the community asking for signatures on petitions, I'm running into people who've seen me as a judge. You're absolutely right. The interface is important and whatever we can do to encourage people to learn about who they're voting for for a judge as you do on the show is incredibly important. It is important. There's no question about it and it was an accident. I didn't really mean to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Good um, I'm sure you have a website. I do. It's electjudgeconlon.com. Okay, and that's C-O-N-L-O-N. Well, your name's in the bottom of the screen. They can read it pretty easy. Very good. At this point, and uh, you have a Facebook page? I do, Citizens to Elect Judge Allison Conlon. Okay, and if I'm not, mis if we're not Facebook friends, I'm definitely, I always make it a point to like everybody's committee because I want to be able to follow all the news. And also, it's a great way to communicate with people. It is. So that's for sure. So I want to thank you very much, uh, Judge Allison Conlon, thank for, you so for much joining for us today. Me. I want to thank Tom Menard, who, who brought you over here, and uh, urge all of you to vote in the upcoming election and make sure you do your homework on the judges and vote in every single last one. Thank you.